This clock is a Clayton Boyer design. You can buy the plans for this clock on Clayton's site. If you've ever thought about making your first clock, this is the design for you. While I've made it a bit more complicated by putting inlays in the wheels and stuff like that, the actual design of the clock is very simple to make but a beautiful and elegant design. The stuff that I've done just illustrates what you can do to personalise the clock for yourself. The simplicity delivers everything that you want in a wooden clock. It uses a nice slow one beat per second tick and an uncomplicated escape mechanism. You can refer to some of my other videos to find out how the inlays are done. It's actually a fairly simple technique once you've practiced a couple and I reckon it looks pretty good. I've finished everything with shellac but you'll notice that I've sanded the teeth on all the wheels to make sure I have as little friction as possible. If you make your own shellac up using metho and the flakes you'll find that it gives a nice hard finish. Some of the ready-made varieties aren't quite as good, they have other ingredients and they're a bit softer. If you're thinking you've seen these inlay designs before, you're right. I used exactly the same design on my boomerang clock. I really couldn't be bothered making up different design patterns for this clock and I reckon it's come out alright. It's only taken me two weekends to build this clock and that includes doing all the inlays. I reckon that the, uh, the inlays took almost half the total time. There's always a bit of fiddle time when you finally get the clock put together. You'll notice that this clock isn't ticking absolutely perfectly yet, so there's a little bit more tinkering to go. However, it is still ticking, and in fact it's been ticking since I first started it, which is always a good sign. A week has gone past and I've been talking to Clayton and I find out that the plans that I had, um, which are very old, have uh, an old design palette in them. This shows the new palette design, which is much better than the old one. You can see how it's actually um, up closer to the teeth and it's ticking really nicely now and it's been going perfectly since I put the new pallets on. Another good feature of this design is that it uses a very simple frame. Simple to build that is. Alright, it's time to go online and buy your own plans and build your own clock. This design really is a pleasure to build and it looks like it's going to be a nice, reliable running clock.